Hello, this is just a little um, help to the introduction to the DNA model activity. It's pretty simple. I'll show you how to get started and how to fill out the document and then you'll be able to do it on your own. So here's what the document looks like that you're going to <coughs> excuse me, submit in the classroom. So make sure that you put your name on the document always. You always want to get in the habit of putting your name. You'd be surprised how many things I get with no name. And sometimes I can figure out who it is and sometimes I can't. So put your name on there. It's due Sunday by, um, actually that's the wrong date. I need to fix that. What did we do? The 16th. Excuse me there. Um, it is due Sunday by 11 p.m. But it would be nice if you could just get it knocked out so you don't have to worry about it for the weekend. So the purpose of this activity, in this virtual activity, you will be building a model of the DNA molecule. So follow the steps of this virtual lab and complete this lab sheet as you go. So here's the link. You can, you know, you can do it. It says there control plus click to follow link or just highlight it and put it in your browser. That's what I usually do. And you may have to enable flash. Um, if you're having trouble, you might try a different browser. I always use Google Chrome and never seem to have a problem. So try Google Chrome if you're having any trouble getting this activity to work. But we'll look at it in just a second. So what you're going to do when you get there is just follow along the directions and they go right along with this sheet. So click start building and start dragging the nitrogenous bases that bond with the base highlighted on the DNA molecule until you are stopped. So it's going to let you keep doing it and then eventually it's going to stop you. So in here, as a reminder, let's fill that out together. This will help you in the activity. You have to remember that thymine bonds with adenine and guanine bonds with cytosine. It looks super ugly, but you can make it look better, underline it, and fix it. But you have to remember that to do the activity. Now, as you're doing the activity, all these questions will be answered. They'll tell you the answers. How long would it take you to transcribe, which means copy, the DNA in one human cell at this rate, working day and night? So don't go in through this and just throw numbers in there, because I actually know the answers, you guys. Sometimes people do that. And I wonder, do they think I don't know the answers? I do. I really do. So um, make sure you put the right answers in there. There's three sections. So there's that first section where you're going to be matching the nucleotides together at their bases. Then you're going to do some reading. And just all this is answered right in the activity. And there's a third part, scroll to complementary base pairing, which is another section of it. And then the summary. So you can see how many points everything's worth. One point, two points, one point, one point. When you look in the summary, you can see it's worth 12 points. Each box is four points. So putting one word in there is not going to get you four points. It says explain one thing that you already know but was reinforced from this activity. I should say already knew. Because you're doing it afterwards. That's okay, though. I don't know why it's underlined. So you, you explain. So it's going to take you, you know, 20 words, 20, 30 words to explain something. In the next box, discuss something new you learned from this activity. So again, you're discussing something. So it's not one or two words. 25, 30 words is what your goal is, or more. And then the third box write one follow-up question related to this activity. So don't put, I don't have any questions, because that's not going to get you any points. So if you don't have any questions, think of a question somebody else might have, if that's what you need to do, or some a scientist or, or anybody. Okay, so let's go look at it really quick. So I like to do it this way. Highlight, right-click, copy. I like Google Chrome. Oh, there's my kids. Huh. Paste it. Enter. Takes me right there. Now, you will you may have to click here, click this puzzle piece to enable Adobe Flash Player. That's all you have to do. So, there you go.
click on, and this is what it says in the activity, it says click on start building. I'm going to do that. And I look, so we're kind of looking down the DNA double twisted uh, double helix. So this base in purple is thymine, and we know that bonds with adenine, so I'm just going to drag it over. Okay, now, now the next base up the ladder was guanine, so that bonds with cytosine. So I'm going to keep doing that until it stops me. I'm going to keep doing it. If you're, if you're already, if you uh, know how to do it, you can stop watching this video, but I'm going to keep doing it in case anybody is having trouble with Adobe Flash. So it's kind of relaxing too. Adazine, or ad, adazine um, bonds with thymine. I mean with adazine, cytosine with guanine. Remember that video? Apples on the tree, cars in the garage. I never heard that before, but I really like it. I wish I had thought of it myself, but I did not. I just always thought, oh, I know how to spell at, A-T, A bonds with T, C bonds with G. Not as clever, but it works. Okay, it stopped me. At this rate, you will need to work day and night for 50 years to, to transcribe the DNA in one human cell. That was the first question. How long would it take you to transcribe the DNA in one human cell at this rate, working day and night? What does it say? Hmm? There you go. Now it says, scroll to molecular machines, copy DNA. I'm going to get rid of that. See, molecular machines copy DNA. There's nothing to do here. It's just reading. So there's information in here. And then you're going to have to, right here it says, click on the blue text to compare the size of a nucleotide to other objects and move the scroll, scroll bar to zoom in. Take your time. This is pretty cool. Click on the back arrow when done. So in case you can't do it, I'm going to do it for you. But So stop the video if you need to to answer the questions from the text here. And then I'm going to move on to this next part, which I really love. So this is showing, you can read it, but a coffee bean, a sesame seed, a grain of rice, something you're familiar with. So now we're going to zoom in. It's like those videos you watch where they zoom into the earth from outer space, which are so neat. We're going to zoom in on a to a nucleotide. Ready? There's a grain of salt, an amoeba, paramecium, a human egg, and sperm, a skin cell, red blood cells, yeast, a chromosome, bacteria, lysosome, which is in a, a cell organelle, mitochondrion, another cell organelle. Here we go. Oh, now we're down to some viruses, some teeny tiny viruses. A ribosome, remember that's in the cell where the proteins are made, down to transfer RNA, which is similar to DNA, but it has a different sugar, hemoglobin, which is in the which uh, is the molecule that carries oxygen in the blood, antibodies, a sugar, aden um, adenine, carbon atom, water molecule, okay? Isn't that cool? I just think it's so cool. I'm going to leave it right here. So the question was, what are two things that you were surprised to learn from this graphic? So just put, so you get two points, one for each thing that you were surprised to learn. And don't put, it didn't surprise me, because that's not the point. So fill that out, stop the video. And then in the next part, we're going to scroll to complementary base pairing. So I have to X out of this, or I have to hit the back arrow. I'm running out of time. So in the um, video only lets me go 10 minutes. So then the next part, there's nothing interactive here, but the questions are all answered here. And then that's the end of the activity. So then you answer that question, and then you fill out these three boxes, uploaded in D2L by 11 p.m. Sunday, and you're good to go. So that is the end. You can rewatch it if you need to. Hopefully, that helped you.